Hello, this is Dale. I've modified SkySolves hardware and its software to get solves every seven tenths of a second. First, here are the solve parameters that I use. And here is the new interface showing the camera parameters and the uh, camera image all on the same screen. This is the default screen now. This is a live recording of SkySolve on the telescope. The beeping you hear is also live and it happens every time there is a su successful solve of uh, the image that it took. A high-pitched beep is a success, and a low-pitched beep is a failed solve. I'm going to move the scope around, and you can watch how it solves, and eventually I'm going to start following a satellite as it comes down across the north, down to the horizon. Eventually, trees will get in the way, and solves will stop. Eventually, then, as I move the scope back up, solves will start passing again. Remember that each beep is a successful solve. That low-pitched beep was a fail, but it quickly recovered and started solving again. If we could see Sky Safari, every successful solve would update its cursor to its current location. So Sky Safari would be tracking this satellite as well. The scope is facing north, so the satellite is tracking from south to north, eventually heading down over the horizon. Pretty soon, trees are going to get in the way. Okay, now trees are in the way, not enough stars, too many trees, and so we get fails all the time. SkySolve has gone into deep search mode. You can set how long it will do that search in the solve parameters. I have it set to 30 seconds. In hindsight, that's a bad value. If solves are taking only about one second, setting it to two or three or four seconds is probably a better value. That way it won't take so long to start up again. Next, I'm just kind of moving it around the sky to see how it behaves with large moves or um, with uh, star trailings uh, from uh, too long of exposures although the exposures are all just 0.1 seconds long. All of this is in the northern sky that I have visible to me. I hope you enjoyed and uh, found this uh, a bit useful for you. I'm rather excited by this new development. Oh, there's another satellite.